As you may know, my name is Dana Smith, and last summer, just before I turned 18, I went on a missions trip to what I thought would be Ghana, Africa. We would be singing and dancing and using our talents to share God's word and also doing street ministry. But due to some misfiled paperwork and other mishaps, we were forced to change our destination to Israel. That in itself was pretty sudden and unknown and pretty darn scary. Not to mention finding out in the middle of airport madness at 12 a.m. on zero sleep on my birthday. Most mission trips testimonies that I've heard are pretty uplifting, motivating, telling how they saw God move through them and stuff like that. But my experience was a little different and not what I expected at all. My biggest fear is that God will call me or ask me to do something so far beyond my comfort zone that I will crash and fall and break down and no one will be there to catch me. And this summer, my biggest fear came to life. In Israel, I had no mommy to watch over me. I didn't have my friends who know to comfort and guide me. I was all alone. I had many panic attacks, and I was pushed far beyond my mental and physical abilities. I was forced to search out God and trust that he would take away my anxieties and get me through all the fears and doubts that I had. I felt so alone, but I didn't miss my family or my friends very much. But inside, I still had this deep longing, something that I couldn't really place while I was in Israel. I didn't understand why God would call me and send me to a place, God's holy land, and then leave me so alone. I was forced to look at those times I like to call my rocks, times where I felt God move and I remembered how I felt and why I truly believed in Him. I chose to have faith. I chose to have faith that God sent us there for a purpose. I chose to have faith in God's love. And God rewarded my faith. There were definite times where I felt Him directing me, comforting me, and showing me that I was not doing it on my own. But most of this I didn't quite realize until I was home and on the recovery process of my trip. When I got back, I was in this great slump. I wouldn't call it depression-like, but more all these emotions and feeling that I couldn't place. I was overwhelmed, and I did this kind of like journal sort of thing. And God blessed me with a song that helped me sort out all these emotions. And here's the chorus. Where are you, Lord? Where is your hand? Lift me from the quicksand by your saving grace. Where are I realized that God never left me and until I learned to fully trust him and have faith did I fully see that he was there with me all along this trip brought my scariest dreams to life and I'm so thankful it did I learned to trust God and count on his faithfulness God loves me so much and would never, ever leave me alone. Sometimes it's the hardest thing to do, to trust God. I had to trust God when I felt betrayed, alone, and useless. And by trusting God, He showed me that none of these things were true. 1 John 4.18 is a good summary of what I learned on my trip. There is no fear in love, but perfect love drives out fear because fear has to do with punishment. The one who fears is not made perfect in love.